All right, St. Bernard Parish has announced a curfew tonight. People have to be off of the streets between 10 p.m. tonight and 6 a.m. tomorrow due to the conditions across that parish. Duke Carter has been in St. Bernard this morning and has more on that. Today is recovery and cleanup for many people who live here in St. Bernard Parish, one of the many areas that were impacted by Hurricane Zeta. As you can look over my shoulder, take a look at this tree that snapped in half. We spoke to the people who live nearby who heard the tree snap and they knew exactly which tree it was at around 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Now, luckily for the homeowners here, it only hit their carport. It didn't do too much damage and luckily for the people who live in their home nearby, everyone is okay. We want to show you all some video of some other steps that we made this morning at St. Bernard Middle School. We've been told by people over there that there was damage over there as well. And we've learned that while over there, there was roof damage, debris all over the track and field, all over the basketball courts, even fences torn apart. Now, we also stopped on Highway 46 near a food store, and you can see how massive this sign is. It actually was just feet away from hitting the store itself. But overall, people who we spoke to in the area are just glad that the destruction could have been worse, but glad that everything is OK. Take a listen watching it last night on a uh, closed circuit TV and it was it was spinning it was spinning I've lived down here all my life more than 50 years okay and we've stayed for every storm except Katrina gotcha. my daddy made us move for Katrina <laughs> and I've never seen anything like it anything that fell on anything could be fixed but thank God everybody's okay so again, as of right now, many people are just thankful that the destruction to many of the homes here was not as bad as it could have been. Many people are just seeing minor roof damage. Some people have destruction to their carports, but overall, they're just grateful that they have their lives. For now, reporting here in St. Bernard Parish, Duke Carter, Eyewitness News.